say good morning in sign language good morning no this is sunset good morning or is this just hello in sign language I I don't speak sign I'm sorry I find it pretty interesting watching people though that know how to do it properly so I'm just doing uh, you have seven hours and 57 minutes of remaining drive time all right well I better get out there and do my pre-trip and uh, we're headed over to Auburn Alabama from here in Waynesboro, Georgia. It's just a few hours down the road. We gotta load there first thing tomorrow morning. So we're taking the back roads. Well, what passes for back roads in Georgia? These are like main highways where I come from, but <laughs> avoiding all the big cities wherever we can. This way is actually 100 kilometers or 60 miles shorter, but it takes the same amount of time. So, if I have the ability and opportunity to avoid the big cities, uh, it had me going around Atlanta, my main route, or the if I would have taken the interstates. Like I said, the interstates was further distance-wise, but the exact same as going through the countryside, the exact same time. So if I have the option, I, I avoid those cities right now if possible. Hey, look, Diesel, a dog! You wanna say hi? Who's that? <laughs> okay, come on, establish yourself in the in the intersection. There you go. Here we go. So I don't know what town this is exactly, but we're on uh, Georgia 24 westbound. Enjoying the small town countryside scenery. Let's see if I ever moved or live down here. Meters, turn right on, 9th Street, GA24 and then turn Karen, you can never let me just talk. Meters, turn You're always right talking over me. GA24 and then turn left into 100. What do you meters. you just said that? What I was going to say is if I lived down here or if I had the opportunity to or whatever, if I just happened to live here, this is the kind of area I would live in. Rural small town. I just you know, you guys know me. You've been watching my videos long enough to know that I am not a fan of the big cities. It doesn't matter where you go, doesn't matter what country you're in. I'm not a fan of big cities. So, with what's going on in election year here, 2020, it's pretty much the same thing that went on in 2016 election year. Truck route this way. Okay, they want me to go this way, eh? Truck route. In 200 meters, turn left on Thank you. PH3 Street, US 1DR. Like all this chaos going on right now, like, you, you know, it's because of election year, right? You, you remember the last time we had riots and we had big protests, we had chaos, violence, breakout, everything, you know, everybody's at each other's throats, everybody's race baiting, everybody's, you know, trying to divide everybody. The last time this happened was 2016, remember? Last election year. See, I'm old enough now to start remembering the pattern. Every four years, this happens. So, every four years, I avoid the cities. <laughs> it's too bad, it's too bad because America is such a beautiful country filled with so many amazing people.
according to Karen here, we're coming up to Macon. Kind of makes me want some bacon. What do you think, Diesel? Making bacon? I'm sorry, I just can't, I can't roll through Macon without saying that. Now my mouth is watering, now I want bacon. Just over this hill, maybe that's where the city will be. We've been doing pretty good, you know, when you think of taking the back country, you sort of think, oh, it's gonna be super slow speed limits, town after town after town. Actually, no, this has been a two lane highway for the most part, but the speed limit's been like 55 to 65 mile an hour all the way through. So it actually saved me quite a bit of time coming through here rather than going all the way up on the freeways to Atlanta and then back down towards Auburn, uh, Alabama. And you get to see, you know, the backcountry scenery. You see all the small towns that you usually would never know even existed. It's beautiful out here. It's so green. So I've never actually been through Macon, like directly through. Usually I just slip through on the freeways, but the scenic route is, uh, Oh, that was red. That that was definitely red. Wow. Whoa. Dude. But yeah, we're going right through the, through the city now. Apparently red lights are suggestions here. <laughs> okay, so I'm turning on to uh, I-16. I think this is gonna take me up to I-75, I'm not sure. I thought I was going through downtown. I'm pretty sure I gotta go down the freeway just a little bit and then we'll end up downtown. Or going through the city anyway. Oh, my satellite radio suction cup keeps falling off the window. Every time I stop, I've had to put it back on there. It lasted for like a month and then suddenly now I can't get it to stay stuck. I guess the, maybe it's too hot down here, I don't know. What do we gotta do? We gotta get into the left. We gotta turn left here. Here we go. I-75 South towards Valdosta. Valdosta. Way ahead of you, Karen. Now what's going on here? What's going on here? Nobody cut out in front of me. Alright. You've chosen your exit, now stick to it. And you got this car right here. That's a terrible place to park, bud. Terrible place to park. Dude. That's why they make parking on interstates illegal. It's dangerous. But people do it anyway, whatever. How is it that I know these laws, but so many other people don't? I guess I do it for a living. I mean, I'm, I'm supposed to know these laws, right? Parking on the shoulder of an interstate for anything other than an emergency is illegal for a reason. It, it, there, there's a law there to prevent people from getting hurt. Okay, so now we're going through the city. And apparently, Macon is no exception. They're not just making bacon. Four kilometers. Take US They're also making lots of construction. Making construction every day. So what, about two miles or so? Always gotta shift myself because the transmission on this truck doesn't know what it's doing. That's a solid white line, my friend. Solid white line, but that's okay, I forgive you. I'm not the law in these parts, I just try to follow it. Construction, construction. Nothing but construction. Right, Diesel? Always building stuff. Which is nice, because it gives truck drivers something to do. Another guy parked on their shoulder. No, that van's just ripping up beside me, I couldn't get out of the lane minivan late for soccer practice again those minivan drivers i tell you i've said it before the most aggressive drivers on the road drive minivans i'm sticking to that what do you think diesel not getting involved fine i'll speak up so 
I thought we were actually gonna see some scenery. This is going straight through the city. Apparently they, uh, they don't want us to actually see the city. They just want us to get out of here, pass on through and get out of here. No sightseeing for us, okay. It's kind of nice though in the south how they sort of have, uh, like all the trees are sort of built right into the forest. That's different than up north where they just plow down anything that's green and replace it with concrete. Seems like they try to keep it as green as possible. In one kilometer, take US 80 GA 22 Eisenhower Parkway and then slide right in 380 meters. Look, we're right in the middle of the city right now, like dead center in the city almost. You, you wouldn't guess it. Okay, buddy, come on, come on. Find your gas pedal, get in front of me. There you go, there you go. Someone who knows how to merge and use the on-ramp. Take US 80 GA 22 and then slide right in 380 meters. So many people, they, they, they don't know that the on-ramp is meant to get you up to highway speed before you hit the highway. And then they see a big truck coming and they panic and they hit the brakes and that just messes up everything for everybody. My exit. In 200 meters, slight right on Eisenhower Parkway, US 80. Slight right. This is more than a slight right, Karen. This is like a hard 90 degree corner. Slight right. Slight right. You can't get more of a right turn than this without it being a U turn. Oh, and I can just barely fit through here. And there's cars coming. All right. Are we on the curb there? Nope, we're not missing the. Okay, good. We're missing the curb. There we go. What are we on now? Along this road for 59 kilometers. 59 kilometers. We've got to be getting close to the Alabama state line. Still in Georgia here. Well, Diesel, we got the second last spot. There's only two spots left. I fueled as quickly as I could and uh, drove as quickly as I dared without speeding through the parking lot to make sure that no one else would take my spot. <laughs> well, it looks like the last spot is being taken now too. So, 5.30 p.m. Smith Station, Georgia. Nope, Smith Station, Alabama. Let's get that right. Full, 5.30. I should tell the Trucker Path app. That way it creates a record of that the truck stop is full at 5.30. So the next time when drivers look up this uh, truck stop on the app, they can tell, oh wow, this thing, this place fills up at 5.30. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna go and have a shower, do some laundry. I hear they have laundry here, so do at least one load of laundry and then uh, head to bed. 7 a.m. tomorrow, we gotta be down the road in Aurora, Alabama, loading. So we'll see you then.